actually recently. got scammed earlier this year when I was looking for a new house. Huh? This, no, early this year there was a lot of scams for rental? Yeah, yeah, I found a listing on a Carousel and then it looked damn legit. Then she went to the unit that I was supposed to view. Yeah. So I asked her, hi, uh, sorry, do you know if there's a viewing here today? Then she said, I'm sorry, no. Then when she opened the door about to go, I see the unit, it's like a totally different unit. Oh, what? oh shit. Yeah. How much deposit do you pay? Like one month? Ah? More? Uh, it was close to 10. It was close to 10k. Welcome everybody to this episode of Let's Get Real Jiang Zhen De, where we interview some of the celebrities, the influencers, and the famous people, mm -hmm. influential people as well, on our channel to learn a little bit more about their real estate journey. Yes. And today, today we have two very special guests. Very cool right. guests. Two of them are very close friends of mine. Okay, they are very, very cool people, and today. They really look really cool. They look very cool, <laughs> eh. That you didn't even perm your hair. Actually, I just colored my hair. I still don't know why I'm here. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Without further ado, let's introduce Zayden and Tom. Oh, 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 Zayden, <laughs> introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Zayden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Why I are guess. you a cool guy? Why, why am I a cool guy? Yeah, why did I describe you as cool? Why did you describe me as yeah. cool guy? I don't know why do you describe me as cool guy. Because of your green shades. I see. You know it's yellow, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. It's green there. Is it green? Like, Does it look great? <laughs> certain angle looks yellow, certain <laughs> angle looks green. Okay, uh, introduce yourself. Okay, hi. Uh, my, name, my name is Zayden. I'm a scriptwriter uh, or something. I'm Zayden. Yeah, if you know what I do, you know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Very talented music. Zayden is a musician, uh, obviously. Yeah. Rapper as well. Yeah. Okay, Zayden, you got any like new works coming up or not? Yeah, I mean, I will have uh, songs coming out. So I just dropped in November, I just dropped my first single, Ika. Mm. So, you know, it's gonna keep dropping songs every month. So mm. if you have watched it, mm. uh, you know, I hope you guys like it. If you haven't, please go support. And, you know, there's more to come. Definitely. Will you be on Spotify? It is on Spotify. Great. Right now. So the Spotify link yeah. is going to be down there. Yeah. I think the intro of this video will have the intro. Yeah, that'll be nice. Too. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Tosh and uh, I'm an actor and musician. Yeah. And I'm very happy to be here on this yeah. show. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, so Tosh, you got like any upcoming works that uh, audience can look forward to? Uh, I have a new music video that's dropping in November this month. It is a song about healing and it is uh, like a lo-fi acoustic kind of song. I have never really done something that is similar to this. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's not a rap. Uh, it's like melodic rap. Then after this, I'm also currently uh, filming a new movie, but I can't reveal too much about that yet. Wow. Oh, started filming already? Uh, yes, yeah. Oh. Currently, we are filming it. So wow. uh, then after that, I have a new song together with Zayden. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So it's wow. like a remix nice. of Jack Neal's uh, Shao Nian Ying Xiong. That one's going to be a rap? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. Uh, it's like a drill kind of approach. Drill, yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. All of these nice. links will definitely be down in the yeah. description uh, box, right? And I will definitely be sure to, to listen to it. Yeah. The movie, to, to you uh, don't know when it's slated for release. Uh, not sure yet. Okay. Yeah. But I'm very happy okay. to finally shoot movie. Because uh, you Go know, back, like, you know yeah, we very haven't long, eh. films in a long time. So, yeah. yeah. For me, very, very long time. For you, it's not so bad. When was your last film? I was went for. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. Same. Uh. Wow, I think really very long. Like eh. Six years already. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. Exciting it's times. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Charlie and I have a question to ask you. Yeah. And uh, before y'all ca came in, right, then we all both were like discussing. Because Charlie was discussing what's the new trend when it comes to fashion. Yes. So I wonder where y'all get your fashion trends from. I know. I, I, okay, I, I've always <laughs> wanted to ask Tosh, like, yeah. where you get your fashion inspiration from. Because Zayden, I know where he get from. He get from you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on. Actually, me and Zayden, we dress very different. Eh. No, yeah. We dress, yeah, just, yeah, just, just kind of really. Yeah. Noah, so, yeah, but Noah, yeah, copy my. Noah is the one. <laughs> Noah, yeah. you have to copy Tosh. Yeah. Like, the looks also gonna copy him. <laughs> He'll wear what I wear, like, like one year a ago, season right? ago. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Always backdating. He'll wear what you wear more one year ago. Yeah, right? after I see, like, wow, this style like familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I look at my phone. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay la, but it's like uh, flattering, uh, flattering. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. where you draw your fashion inspiration from? Is there like a magazine or website? Because I see you always wear up to date on it. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when you when you you dress a certain way, right? Then we look at you, then we say, mm, okay, it's fashion lah, you know? Then maybe like two months later, then the fashion boom. A lot of people go, right? yeah, yeah, it becomes yeah. that becomes the trend, you see? Yeah. I think me and Zayden, because we always we always look at uh, fashion and music all together as like one thing, as mm. a culture. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we we also go and search for like underground artists or uh, designers and things like that. Mm. Like uh, for me, it's from Japan and I follow a lot of US 
uh, fashion designers and all that as well. So mm. I will see their styles and I will try to like fuse it into mine. And I will also try mm. things because I don't like to stay the same style for a while. So every few mm. months, I will change my hair color, I will change my hairstyle, I will oh, change my uh, kind of look a little bit just mm. to keep myself like fresh, eh? excited about myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like when you wake up, like, like you yeah, feel different. Wow, cool. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look yourself good, also feel good, you know? Yeah, yeah. yourself yeah. also. I think it's about like how you feel comfortable with what you like. Mm. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. Like you yeah. don't have to be like on like what everybody else is wearing. Right. I think the most mm. important thing is like you have to like what you're wearing. Mm. Yeah. Just wear what you like. Mm. But for myself, right, what if I like to wear like just shorts, football jersey. Shorts, ah, shorts and football jersey. And you know? boxers and sure, then just make that your thing. <laughs> but it's not cool, eh? I mean, it's not because of the fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. All okay. oh, jokes aside, right? Okay, now let's 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 go into some some serious stuff. Like serious okay. stuff. Okay, yeah. more serious mm. stuff. Yeah. Like we want to talk about a little bit about real estate, lah. Okay. Yeah. Like growing up, what's like your family's yeah, perspective? Family's yeah. Perspective of real estate. Uh, Do you all like move a lot when you guys were young or growing up? Do you all just stay in one place all the way? So for me, it's a bit uh, different because my family actually used to stay in uh, Pulau Ubin. Huh? Not me, not me directly, but my, my mom used to stay in Pulau Ubin. Whoa! When you were not born? When I was not born. Uh. Yeah, so they uh, they used to have a land in Pulau Ubin. Okay. Yeah. Wow. wow Until shit. the government took it uh, away. Took it, uh, oh. recollected. Yeah. Oh. Took, uh, yeah. So they all lived in Pulau Ubin all together at a house. Right. I grew up in my grandmother's house in Haugang. Mm. Then uh, my, my family were living in Bukit Bato. Mm. That then we moved to Bukit Banjang. When I was primary school. Oh. Yeah. Then after that, all the way Bukit Panjang? All the way Bukit Panjang. Wow. Oh. Yeah. But I, I, I was born in... Uh, I, I was born and raised in... Oh. When I was young, before yeah. primary school, yeah. I was born and raised in like Bukit Bato and Alkang. Oh. oh. Yeah. East and West. Wow. East and West. East and West. Yeah. yeah. Lonnie Road, man. Every wow. single day. Yeah. But but you prefer which one? Uh, Be careful, eh? I mean... <laughs> Singapore is very small bro, so <laughs> that's really like, it feels the same. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, because you see, right, Algang has good food. Yeah. Bukit Batok for sure has good food. Yeah. Right? Mm, yeah. yeah. So it's quite tea. similar actually. Yeah. Okay. But the yeah. feeling feels different though. The yeah. feeling is a bit different. Yeah. yeah. You you get a lot, actually no lah, now that, now it's just quite same, similar. I, I was about to say like, a lot more old people in Algang, but actually now it's about the same now. Yeah, right. BTOs coming up, everything is yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to say I never knew your family from. Yeah, I just didn't know. I never yeah. shared before. Yeah. Yeah. Do you make it up when you were here or not? Where you just thought about it? No, no, no. no so, right. yeah, my, great, my, my, <laughs> my great grandfather was yeah. from China, right? Yeah. So when he came to China, he decided to uh, live in Pulau Bin with his whole family. Wow. Yeah, so, so my rare. grandfather and, and then their kids, which is my mom, they yeah. all were in Pulau Bin. Yeah. Then how they come to mainland? Take boat? Ah? Oh, <laughs> Take plane, bro. That time Pulau Bin got air, airport, bro. <laughs> really? Ah? No. no. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're watching through this part of the video, thank you so much for staying with us. As you guys know, this is not a sponsored video, so it really help us if you could just share this video with your friend if you have benefited from this video in any way. That's right, absolutely. And if you have any comments, any questions, any opinions, or any new guests you want to bring, mm. you can just key into the comment section down below because we are sure to look at it. And you know what? A lot of our viewers are not subscribed to our channel, right? Yeah. So please subscribe to our channel so you can have first dips of the content that we're going to bring out, right? Most importantly, there's going to be a QR code that's going to be right over here. So please scan it, right? Let's get real. Answer, ask some questions. Our investment consultants will be sure to get you ASAP. Right now, back, back to the to video. video. <laughs> okay, he's very young. Yeah, young. I believe it for a moment or so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, plausible, right? yeah, so yeah. No, but I'm curious. I'm curious how to go grocery shopping on this. No, because last time, <laughs> it's last time like, no there's, a, there's a, like a kampong. Kampong ma. Oh, yeah. last time no NDC <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I actually I, don't really know when NTC started. That's right. Yeah, yeah. hundred years ago, right? Uh, yeah. They, I think they started. They started there maybe. Nineteen twenty. Le- I would say less than a hundred lah, but yeah, around them. Yeah. Actually, till today we are still leasing the land. Oh. Yeah. So you rented it out, or you're renting the land for something else? We are just renting the land. Wow. For yeah. what? Like for what now? Just for like family use. Cause so the so, government is still like we like after they took it back. Yeah. yeah. I think they 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 let you have the, they own it, but yeah. they lease it out. To oh. whoever that's living there. So do you all go there for like family gathering sometimes? And- no man, I mean, it, we used to. Yeah. But now it's like collapsed. 
<laughs> yeah, so anybody want to build, you know, new Airbnb, let me know. That's that's it. <laughs> right over there. Let at me know. Uvin, Uvin. 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 Yeah. yeah, at Uvin. <laughs> yeah. Then yourself, eh, Tosh? Uh, I grew up in uh, Yishun and Woodlands. Yeah. I think my first memory of my first home is a uh, four-room flat, four or five-room flat. With, in Yishun? Yeah, in Yishun. Yeah. In Katip area. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, during my secondary school, then we moved to Woodlands. Yeah. And uh, because that, that was near to my school, mm. Republic Poly. Mm. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, now my mom is staying back in Yishun. And mm. since, because I've been renting for, I think, nearly 10 years. Wow. Really. Very long already. I moved, wow, out, very long, from the, yeah, I moved the... out the moment I could afford it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I stayed all over Singapore. Actually, that. that's true, except for the, the West, right? Yeah, except for the West. Yeah. Except for the West, right? Because I see move, 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 move. For uh. <laughs> East, also have. Yeah. Yeah. He very scared to come and stay in the West, bro. Why? Very scared. Very scared, very scared. He's scared we keep calling him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walking distance and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so all, all, all the places that you stay uh-huh. in, right? Which which do you think was your favorite mm. and why? Initially, okay, I started, right? When I moved out, I stay in central area. I stay at like. Drew Avenue, which was near Little India. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's Saligi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to want to stay centrally because I I want to be near everywhere. Town. Yeah. yeah. And or near town. that time our previous office, uh, our management office yeah. is also at Scape. Correct, correct. So it was easier to do things around town. Yeah. But mm. I realized you don't have a Hui Jia the country uh, when right. I go home. Yeah. Because you're still in the hustle and bustle. Then yeah. when I stay in town, I kept going out because it's hard to refuse right, when something is just like, like a restaurant is like five ten minutes away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then after that, I moved to uh, Pongo side, and that's when I had a feel of like, oh damn, this is how it feels to go home because there's nature, what? it's quiet, yeah, serene. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. it's that's the one. Some, is it Kingsford Water Bay? No. Uh River Sales. River Sales. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So when when I move into River Sales, I stay at the block, at the first block where you come in. Yeah. yeah. And that time there was. Only maybe another unit that was taken. I think they just TOP, then they just yeah. opened. Yeah. 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 So it was nice to experience River Sales when there was nobody Empty, there. Yeah, no one there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think now I prefer staying uh, not in central area. Right. Yeah. Just very curious, la, like with your experience after renting for so long, right? Mm. Then usually you rent, uh, you mm. go directly to the, the landlord or there's an agent helping you? Uh, so far, mostly uh, there's always an agent. There's always, always an agent. agent yeah. Yeah. That means I've you always deal with agent, one, uh? Yeah, I've never dealt with uh, direct. Landlord, landlord. direct. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But right. most of the time, there's an agent, right? Yes, listing the unit. Right. But yeah. I, I think the mm-hmm. question was like, do you have an agent representing you then, or like to teach you property guru tao? No, but sometimes if you go uh, carousel hand. Ah, uh, carousel hand. Yeah, carousel hand. Oh, right, 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 right. Those are sass, man. They're sass, lah. They're sass. The security boss is a power chong gong, man. No, I'm just. I actually, I, got, I actually got scammed earlier this year when I was looking for a new house. Huh? This, no, earlier this year there was a lot of scams for rental? Yeah, yeah, I found a listing on uh, Carousel. And then yeah. it looked damn legit because the they got like a walk, walkthrough video of the apartment, right? Yeah. Then wow. the walkthrough video got like the, the logo of the company, then the, the agent's like ID number. Which is fake lah. Oh wait, that did so end up real or fake? Fake one lah. It, it was fake one. But oh, because okay. that time I, I needed an apartment very, very soon. Correct. So like, and... Wow, every day uh, the apartment that I favorite. Next day I look, wow, it's taken, it's taken, yes, it's taken. Yes. So like crazy rental market. Yeah. Then I saw this apartment. Wow, wow, very very nice. Then yeah. the price also not bad. Yeah. Then uh, because I was a bit desperate for it, I yeah. uh, the guy tell me, okay, uh, there are a lot of people queuing to view this house, so yeah. you can only view it like two weeks from now. But if somebody takes it before you, then it's that uh, it's gone. Yeah. Then I just tell him, I think based on the walkthrough video, I I, I can. Take it. Yeah, don't need you don't need viewing lah, don't need live yeah. viewing. Yeah. La. So I tell him uh you send me the LOI, yeah. then I send you a like a deposit or something. Yeah. 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 Then after I send him the deposit, he was still replying me. Yeah. Like, then he asked me to meet on this day at, at what time. Then I go there, right? Yeah. I press the unit intercom, right? Then yeah. uh it was an American guy that picked up. Yeah. Then I say, Hi, I'm here for viewing. Then he's yeah. like, uh, I'm sorry, there's no viewing here today. Then I'm like, okay, maybe the agent didn't tell yeah. him or yeah. then when I try to call the guy, his number is Block. like not working. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then after that, yeah. I I managed to enter with another resident, right? Yeah. Then I went up to the unit. Then there was this lady that came up, this Angmo lady with yeah. a kid. Yeah. Then she went to the unit that I was supposed to view. Yeah. So I asked her, hi, uh, sorry, do you know if there's a viewing here today? Then she said, I'm sorry, no. Then when she opened the door about to go, I see the unit, it's like a totally different unit. Oh what? shit. Yeah. yeah. Then after that, then I was like, Shit, 
has it really happened to me? <laughs> yeah, because there were a lot of newspaper articles about that also, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But I never thought it would happen, no. Because yeah. you you think like, okay, you're always very vigilant, you would, yeah. But I think he caught me in a moment of like, wow, I really want Desperation. this. Desperation. Yeah. yeah, correct. Mm. Yeah. So. But you managed to get the deposit back like nah. the police. You didn't call the police? I, I did. Ah. But uh, I think the, the guy already transferred up, and they are not based in Singapore. Wow. Oh my god, it's yeah. like a syndicate it's kind a syndicate. of thing. Uh. Yeah. And when we check their IP, right, yeah. they are using a VPN to uh, appear in Singapore, but their connection, I think, is from overseas. Huh? Wow. wow. Yeah. So it's wow, damn some, sick, eh? Yeah. That really pissed me off, man. Wow. I think so, yeah, definitely, right? Wow. <laughs> but no, how much deposit do you pay? Like one month? Ah? More? Uh, it was close to 10. It was close to 10k. Wow, yeah. that's high, man. Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. So. Okay, but it's once bitten, you know, twice shy, right? Yeah. Very, very pain. Hey, but thanks for sharing, bro. Thanks for sharing. I think yeah. people need to know, man. I think we like, need to know about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah 100%. It's crazy. There are a lot of scammers out there. Yeah, be yeah. careful. Yeah, be careful. So, it, actually, you have been renting for 10 years, right? <laughs> like, you never, like, gain or, like, think of buying before, man. Because a lot of people who are renting, they are, like, thinking of buying. Like, a lot of agents yes. will be encouraging you to buy also, lah. Because yes. the rental that you put in, you will never be able to take it back. Like, mm. when you pay actually, for Actually, we had this conversation so many times. Yeah. yeah. Right. Even before I became a real estate agent, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we had this conversation so many times. Like, so, I what's think... the rationale, like, behind it? Because when I, when I first moved out, right, I was still very, very young. I was, like, in my early 20s. Mm. Oh. So, that time, I didn't have enough money to, like, put a down payment Correct. or yeah. anything yet. So yeah. I just rented for a few years. Yeah. yeah. Then after a few years, I started at this, having this thinking that maybe I don't want to base myself in Singapore. Mm. I might want to move to KL yeah. or like Melbourne or oh, something. That. Mm. Yeah. That is something that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. I think over the years, I started to realize that, okay, if I want to do that, I have to switch up my whole, how I make money yeah. and uh, because I work in Singapore if the entertainment staff are all here, yeah. it's hard for me to like keep flying back and forth. Yes. Yeah. So it's only in like, I think since COVID period that I really started to think like, okay, it's about time I should. Settle down in Singapore. Yeah. 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 I think I definitely need an apartment here before I go and find another place right. somewhere yeah. else. Right. Yeah. At least I have a base uh, where I grew up. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. anything, if you can rent it out here. Ma. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. That's right. Cool. Yes. So uh, back to your both, right? Just mm. wondering, like, how it's like. I mean, growing up, you see your parents staying in one particular HDB, and then that's it, which is very common amongst a lot of our yeah. guests, mm. right? So, like, how did it affect your perspective towards like real estate? Uh, is it like a home to you, or is it an like, investment or asset to you? How is it like? Yeah, maybe we can start with Zayden. I think it's for our parents' time. It's both. Yeah. Mm. Because I realized that a lot of our parents, right, when like everybody is like granted, I think like two BTOs, right? Yeah. Mm. So our parents is more like you know if we have a nice place, mm. we just want to settle down. Mm. Are we really like, you know, the asset has already appreciated. Mm. So for them, it's really about that stability, I realize, mm. right? Because yeah. their mindset into investment is also about stability. And security for the family. Right? Yeah. But whereas you have people in our generation, right, where we are thinking about, oh, passive income, yeah. uh, like investment. And we yeah. have so much different things because you have like, you know, cryptocurrency now yes. yep. that reshapes a lot of the concepts of how we invest. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Right? Mm. Yeah. So, like, nowadays, like, BTO is like, you know, you easily four room 600,000. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, it's very different because now you you are posed with the question of like, okay, how do you weigh that with other investments? Mm. Right? Because if you say it as a home, yeah, yeah. for sure, like, yeah. definitely you need a home. Correct. Yeah. Everybody needs a home. Every, yeah, yeah, you need a home. Yeah. If you want to be in Singapore, you need a home. Mm. Yeah. But I think as an investment, it's really very subjective of like, your belief in whether that 600,000 can get to a million. Yeah. Mm. Because from our parents' time, it's 200,000 to yeah. 600,000 600, now, right? Mm. Yeah. So now you're looking at from 600,000, does it get to a, a million. million? Yeah. So everybody's thinking about that. Like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. So I think that's the difference I feel is the mindset between like the, what do you call it? Maneka. Maneka generation. Mm. Maneka yeah. generation and we are the millennials, yes. right? Mm. So I think that's the difference in how we, we look at it. Yes. How is your own perspective? Let's say, do you have a goal like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to own multiple properties or is it like, okay, similarly, just want to be secure. Yeah. I mean, the home appreciate, that's great. I focus on my craft and that's it. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, what I'm looking at now because, you know, you have Singapore, I feel that we are in this whole place whereby like, they want you to have a home in Singapore. Yes. yes. I, and I always feel that it's like they are, they, there's this always this barrier of having a second home mm. or third home in Singapore. Mm -hmm. So I feel like getting a home in Singapore is definitely for sure. Yeah. Like I will always want to have a home in Singapore yeah. no matter where I go. Yeah. 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 
But as a like multiple properties in Singapore, yeah. mm. maybe I will look at a lot of other different things and yeah. weigh and weigh a lot more before like you know really thinking about because I'm yes. looking at like maybe you know nowadays talk about London, yeah, right, mm. uh, that's Dubai, yes, uh, even China, yes, mm. yeah. So yeah, that's that's why so I'm many at, options, right? Yeah, yeah, because I mean it's a globalized, yes, it's a globalized place, you know. Yes. Yeah, yes. because I remember remember there was one time like. Uh, Singaporeans started to go and buy properties in JB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Especially like Bukit Indah, Bukit yeah, Indah, yeah, know, yeah. Like yeah. and all cold. that. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. feel that that was the start of like Singaporeans really going out and look at like foreign properties. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. So I think for us, it's somewhat like taking one step further. It's yes. like still having a home in Singapore. Yes. Mm. But looking at real estate as a as a global yeah. investment. Mm. And it's cool, right? So what yeah. you're trying to say is that okay, we have a home in Singapore global perspective towards investments, then we go out and we see. Yeah. And true enough, right, mm. the yield in overseas projects, right, mm. is higher than Singapore. You know? Every share for residential here is about 3 to 4%. Mm. Overseas, I was looking at the Airbnb in Bali, mm. we got up to 20%. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so sad. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. 20%, right? 20%, yeah. 20%, yeah. 20%, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's great. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite mad now, the, the yield now. It's, it's insane. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Next place to buy, bro, Bali, Bali. <laughs> Not sure yet. Bali, sure. Lane, Bali, Bali, Bali. Bali it's a nice place for creati- creators, right? Actually, is it? Yeah, actually, a lot of people are digital nomads. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Maybe I feel that that could be for the Gen Zs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I feel that that's after us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Gen Z. <laughs> I'm Gen Z millennial. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yesterday you acknowledged that you're a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's trying to you know, he, Bro, we have a real Gen Z here. He's a Gen Z, you know. I am not a Gen Z. Are you really Z. a Gen Z? I'm not. 96. I went to, oh, you're 96? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, I wow. went to see the... No, I went to see the Google already. 97. So I'm a millennial. You're a uh, zillennial. I'm a zillennial. Zillennial, yeah. Yesterday, Nicole oh, was on the show and then she was like, you are a Gen Z. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> that's it. That's cute. Wow. man, 96. <laughs> I didn't know you were 96. Wow, yeah, okay. 96. Yeah. 96 is like 27. Right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. A T. Yes. What were you, Tosh? Like, what is your perspective towards like investments, real estate investments? Like just now, you were talking about whether we look at it as a home. Yes. Or, or like investment, investment. Right? Yeah. Investments, yes. right? I think the sense that I get from most young Singaporeans uh, and my friends around me that yeah. purchase apartments, right? Yeah. And I think also a bit of my own sense is that uh, we don't really look at uh, an apartment and think, okay, we're gonna stay here for 20, 30 years anymore. True. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But I think during our parents' time, like yeah. we grow up in a house. Correct, yeah. Then maybe your ama is still staying at the same apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There the way, now. Right? Yeah. yeah. Somehow or rather, that kind of builds like a connection to the place. Every time you go back, there's a certain smell. Yeah. Mm. The, the room hasn't really changed much. Maybe yeah. the toilet got renovated a bit. Yeah. 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 But I think now people like, we think about five, ten years. Okay, yeah. like after this, I'm going to flip. Yeah, yeah. I want to upgrade. Mm. Yeah. And all that. Mm. And I think people want to be more fluid now because of the maybe the state of the world is not very stable so yeah. mm. so we we, we want to have not be locked down for too long into something whereby if uh, we need a cash flow yeah. or something happens or maybe uh, we have a new job overseas we can we can like up and go uh, yeah. yes, liquidity lah yeah, right. yeah. you got a yeah. choice now uh, got a choice yeah, yeah. 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 I got a choice Agree. now mm. yeah yeah, the government so, should be watching this, man. I mean, talents. Right? <laughs> they are like thinking of going already. So please make it affordable and yeah, cheaper yeah. for all. If for not, them. they are going to Bali. If not, they are going to Bali. Going and Bali then Singapore, the local <laughs> scene, how? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I see. So let, let's go. Let's go to uh, one question that you ask all our guests, right? Okay. Your dream home. Like, how does your dream home look like? Wow. Yeah, because creatives, right, and yeah. creators, right, especially song, right, this, this yeah, exactly. song writers yeah, and producers. Yeah. You need, I think you need a link card. I'm not one, la. I don't know. La, no, but I, I, think go to, I go to his room, right? Sure, his room is very, la. yeah. So, <laughs> so very <laughs> happy one is like, like the lights are different, you know, like a purple, blue light. <laughs> Like different man, yeah. when you go in, it's like there's a vibe. Yeah, you know? that's right. Yeah. And then, it's not like my room, my room is just white light. Yeah. White light and a computer, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like, I guess the white light. Nice, like, you, know, you don't feel white light, like, very awkward, eh? Yeah, I feel like, like bit, very naked, bit, eh, yeah. white light. But it serves its purpose, you see, I can see things. <laughs> that's why you're a boomer. Hello, <laughs> <Yeah, it's, laughs> I think warm light makes people feel more comfortable. Cozy. Yeah, warm light, warm light, yeah, yeah. Warm yeah. light. The house nice. is warm light. Warm light, warm light, warm light, warm light, yeah. But his is like, wow. The when he's there, in the zone when you need the right music. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow, he, I only on like a few lights, then like, yeah, very deep, yeah. you know, then much, eh? very, very vibey. <laughs> yeah. Is your room also like that? I mean, I can choose to my, my lights are toggle uh, yeah, over. Control, oh. yeah, control it. Yeah. Like, warm okay. Light, yeah. So yeah, what, what's your dream home like? I actually like very quiet places. Yeah, mm. I like to be away from people. village kind of village. I'm okay. <laughs> but the first thing is gonna be right. Udin. 
Yeah. But the facilities gotta be right. Oh, yeah. like, I like quiet places. Oh, okay. yeah. I like the the ride when you go when you're going home, right? Mm. There's not much people ho- when you're on the way home. I see. And then coming out, there's not much people going out. Then they go into like wherever you're going. Like, that is Singapore think, uh, not ready. JCBs, JCBs are enclaves. Nothing. Yeah, maybe yeah. JCB. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. And is it because like throughout your road back home, it's like where you get a lot of inspiration, and you think a lot. That's why you want the serenity, or is yeah, it like, because I drive right, yeah. so. I think I think a lot when I'm driving. Yeah. I even write sometimes when I'm driving. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. the road home sometimes is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Because imagine you are like traffic jam home, then <laughs> the traffic oh. jam that you turn then is your house. Yeah. Then you come out, turn out traffic jam. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I don't really like that. I don't yeah. really like to when I go down my house. Yes. There's a lot of people there. Yes. 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 I don't really like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like like quiet places. Yes. Will it be the west side, the east side, or the central? Yeah. Actually, it's. This is okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. just quiet. I mean, like I think, like you know, like yeah. Ubi, they have a lot. So of So definitely kind of not condo, right? I'm guessing. Condo is fine, yeah. but by I, I'm, condo you come down also a lot of people. What apartment? Depends small. on where you're at. Oh, yeah, yeah. smaller apartment. Depends on where you're at. Yeah. yeah. Not just start like 2,000 units one. Like. You come yeah. down everybody like, say that. Yeah, then yeah. like swimming pool, a lot of people, <laughs> people like, you know, with kids, right? <laughs> yeah. No. Really? Every time I see people's condo, like nobody swimming in their yeah, condo. Yeah, actually, but bigger condos, they're already there. Yeah. Condos, they no, every river sales after that, wow. A lot of kids yeah, yeah. watch people yeah. move in, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people want, yeah. Then the gym also packed. Packed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> never mind. Chiobu never mind. Guy, guy. Guy, guy take guy. them as motivation. <laughs> 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 no, so, so landed lah, I'm guessing. Landed, yeah. I mean, I mean definitely, you know, that's the Don't talk about money, like, money not an issue. That's money the aim for sure. Okay. Yeah, because I feel that if you can create you can create an area where you know you don't have to keep going out, you mm. can have like different facilities in your house. Yeah. yeah. Which takes the space, right? Mm. Yeah. That'll be perfect, like, you know. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Different rooms and different vibes also. Yeah, yeah, different yeah. inspiration. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. We want to go to their house and see the different yeah. rooms that they have. That's Creative cool. people, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I mean like I learned so much from them and it's like boom. That's like it can be very messy eh, sometimes. Yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> in, our, in our minds. <laughs> in your mind and in the place. Uh. In the mind and in the place. <laughs> Yourself at Tosh. Yeah. The, like dream home, dream home. Dream, dream home. home. Yeah. Is it overseas uh, or Singapore? That's something I'm still yeah. like, like fighting myself about. Yeah. Uh, but this year I kind of have a change of my, what my dream home is like. Before this year, I always wanted like to stay in an apartment, like a in a high-rise apartment because I grew up in that so I'm familiar with that. Right? Yeah. Then I like staying on high floors because yeah. like the view is great. You get wind yeah. and all that. But I think uh, since this year, right, I've started to like landed properties. Nice. Yeah, but I didn't start to like it because I was in Singapore then I saw like our landed. Yeah. But it's because I went overseas. Then I went to places with a lot of nature. Beautiful. And like the houses there, just a two-story, very rustic. And they are like maybe 10 minutes from the city. Yeah. So they are staying in nature, but you are just 10 minutes away, away from, from the city. Yeah. The hustle and bustle. While you go in, got restaurants, got yeah. bars, got supermarket. But yeah. you can go back to your own little serene area. Yeah. So I, I start to like that now. And the place that I'm staying now is uh is like a landed enclave. So mm-hmm. I walk around, when I walk around, I always like. See. Notice how people uh, build their houses, how they renovate. And yeah. there are some houses, right, that is just inspiring when you walk yeah. past, right? Yeah. You just stand outside, right? Wow. Wow, like this like is castle, actually, right? is this like is actually dope. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like and yeah. and like but it's expensive as hell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Singapore, yeah. Singapore is expensive. Yeah. 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 But now I, I would prefer to have uh, a bit more space, some greenery at home. Yeah. And uh, for me, like the toilet is very important. Yeah. Mm. Right, the toilet must feel feel good. Like there are some bathrooms, right? Yeah. After you shower, you still feel a bit like, <laughs> like a bit gao like yeah. yeah, not but, fully clean. <laughs> yeah, feeling clean. But some bathrooms, like you can sit on the floor, you still feel like clean, clean. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like how you how you design a bathroom. Then I like like a bathtub. bathtub. Yeah. And like a rain shower. Wow. A rain yeah. shower. I think everybody loves rain yeah. shower. Yeah. Everybody cool. loves rain shower. Yeah. Cause bathroom is when you go back at the end of the day. That's where you rejuvenate you. Cleanse yourself. Yeah. 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 So bathroom is my my hideout day. Eh. Like I can stay in the bathroom for one hour. Like, what are you doing that? Like, like only like, fans. Like, like business <laughs> lah. Like I want to take a Your shit. Your business. <laughs> take a shit and shower lah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know when you take a shit, right? Right. I don't know about you guys lah, but I I really like to take my own seat time to take a shit. Okay. It's I, like I, my own private space. I have, space, I have you know, some friends home. right yeah. that really like use the bathroom for a very long time. Yeah. And, you are and not one of them lah. I'm not one of them. Oh, you fast game one lah. In and out. I mean, I'm not that fast. Like, good, like, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, uh. Yeah, you know, that's all you need. Like, 
I don't understand <laughs> like <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, like, like, it's quite an, funny that you're all discussing an hour how long is, you take to shit An hour is quite long uh. Yeah, bro, because you sit there, you use your phone, you know and then sometimes It's very peaceful, I like a bath toilet mm. because it's very very peaceful, you know Okay Because my wife is outside, ma. Mm. then if you go out, then sometimes you need to talk already, ma, right? <laughs> but sometimes you don't want to talk, then you just hide in the bathroom more Okay Not that I don't like to talk to my wife <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. right. The toilet it's is like, like wow. Yeah, correct. It's like a very a man's private space. Right, yeah. okay. Like a man cave, like a second man cave. I see. Yeah. See. Are you not like that? I'm like that lah, but I go there, I take a bit longer because I post Instagram there. Like, oh. The only discipline I can to do posting is just there in the bathroom. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. I realize that captions I get the most from when I was shitting lah. So I done, then yeah. get right. out. Right. They get out already. Eh. One day, one hour lah, I mean. Oh, really man? I like it. Eh. I like like very peaceful. Yeah, I mean it's a second man cave there, I understand. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're yeah. in there, inside there for one hour with the smell. No, sometimes I don't even shit, bro. Just high yeah. seat, just yeah. high. Yeah. Just sit, yeah. Do you have a chair counseling it? No, I don't have. I sit on the wall, bro. <laughs> okay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> let's go! To our game show! Our game section! Okay. In this game show, contestants will answer questions chosen by the host. Each contestant will give their answers by raising the corresponding signs. They will be given a point for each correct answer. First contestant to reach three points will be crowned the winner. If there is a tie, both contestants will attempt a tiebreaker and the first contestant who answers the question correctly will be crowned the winner. Okay, let's go, Charlie. Ah, next time. Come. Let's go, okay? First question. Easy, simple, ah. Huh? Simple, simple one. Wow, this one really easy, eh? Hey, this one I already asked before. This really easy, okay. You can use your CPF to buy commercial property. Real or not real? Commercial property? Commercial property. Yes, the 10 seconds timer starts now. Wow, this one I don't know, yeah. Commercial property? Yeah. Hey, don't go and copy the answer, ah. Not All real. Right, not real. Not real. Why not real? Alright. Because commercial property, right? Mm, yeah. Commercial property. It's, it's business, right? Yeah. Yeah. You need to use business to money. Use cash lah. Yeah. Yeah. You need to use like the Oh, can you use time. crypto or not? Crypto. I don't know. You yeah. yeah. <laughs> want to see the yeah, well, someday that will happen. Take, yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay, so both have the answers, which is not, not real. real. And, and the answer is absolutely right. correct. Not real. So you only yeah. can use your CPF to buy, buy residential, residential properties. properties. Wow, yeah. one one each. Wow. Okay. Well done, guys. Let's go oh, on no. to the next okay. one. Simple, very simple one. Yeah. I wasn't sh they said easy, completely you know. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they said easy, I'm like, yeah. No, but CPF only can use for residential. residential. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you do not need a property agent to help you buy your house. Real, real or, or not, not real? real. So do, not do not need. Do not need. Uh, need. You do not need an agent to transact a property for you. Real or yeah, not real? Buy a house. Okay, yeah. so we have not real and real. Maybe we can real. explain the answer. Yeah, explain. Okay, Tosh, explain first. Uh, Why you say you, we, you, you do, do not need? That means I, I agree with that statement, yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think if I'm not wrong, I've heard of people like buying direct, like seller to buyer. Mm. Yeah. But I think that person has to be very experienced with the processes. Mm. Yeah, because I think the agent is something like the... Gatekeeper. Like, yeah, like he kind of manages the Timeline. whole... Yeah. yeah. So is that true? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. But from you, what I heard... You like, yeah. You Huh? You? No, because I'm just trying to think out of uh, logic. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Yeah. So, it's just like, because I think like, yeah. property agents, they have to take like a test, right? Yes. There must be a reason why they have to take a test, right? Yeah. That's right. So maybe it's to process this whole transaction correctly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's what I think. Yeah. So the answer is... Real! Wow. You can you actually... Wow. Yes. You don't actually need a real estate agent to help you buy a house. Yes. But when selling a house, you need a real estate agent. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, right. yes, yes. Yeah, so then I say it wrongly. No, you say correct. You say buy. A oh, buy. Yes, buy. Okay, yeah, correct. Yes. So you need a real estate agent to absolutely, right, to sell a house. That's mm. why we take exams to mm. go and do the property timeline. And what Tosh says is also absolutely correct. You can buy it directly yeah. from yeah. the agent right. la, with that's representing a seller. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the reason behind that is also that's why you don't have to, you know, constantly ask for an agent to help you. Mm. You can actually mm. do it yourself. But most importantly, what's the value of an agent? Yeah. The value of an agent is to help you, like what they mentioned, your timeline, your financial planning. Yeah. Most importantly, also help you choose investable assets. La. Practitioners, they can help you with that. Yes, so the score now is 2-1. Two, two, one. One. Wow. Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, next question. Foreigners. Foreigners uh, yeah. are eligible to purchase ECs. ECs are executive condos. Uh, after the five-year MOP period. Real or not real? You know what's EC, right? Yeah. Yeah. EC, real? Yeah. Fast. Okay. That well. means foreigners are allowed 
to purchase ECs after the five-year MOP period. So ECs, there are two important timelines. One is the five-year MOP, one is the 10-year privatization. MOP, yeah. That's right. Not real. Wow. Okay, maybe I'll get extra answer. Wow, wow they're always different, eh? Very <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, you, you start first, you start first. Real. No, because I just thought like once the five years MOP, it becomes a... Uh, it becomes a uh, private property, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then, yeah. Then, then when, they can, they can then buy it. Once la. it becomes a private property, you can buy it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Toshi? From what I know is after five years, you can sell, but it only fully privatized at 10. If I'm right. not wrong. Oh, is it? Wow. If I'm not wrong. No. Oh. You are absolutely <laughs> not wrong. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. Why you confuse me? Eh? <laughs> okay, actually, Zayden's explanation is correct. Because but the privatization happens after 10, 10 years. years. Oh, yeah. So first five years is only SC Singapore citizens Singapore and citizens. PRs. Oh. Then 10 years later is privatization. Yeah. Tosh, so do you think the IRS exempts? Yeah. No. What do you know? <laughs> ah? <laughs> I think okay. you're quite easy. Uh, the, I think the past two years I've been looking a lot at property related oh. stuff. Yeah, that's why I saw your video. Oh. Yeah, right. oh, that is really yeah. Okay. Wow. Yes. So foreigners correct. can only buy after ten years. Right. Singapore citizens and PRs. PRs can buy after. Five so it years. only becomes private after ten years. Fully private. Fully privatized. Oh. Then it's like but the MOP is though. five years, like, Yeah. So yes. after five years, it's just MOP. Yes. Yes. You can sell it yeah. to Singaporeans or PRs. Yeah. So five years is not a condo yet. Not yet. No, fully not, not fully privatized. Right. That's right. Yeah. I think that's so fun. Let's ask two more questions, bro. Okay. Yeah. Like we're representing HDB campaign later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we asking all the CPM HDB questions? Can I design answer? Yeah. Okay. If you apply for a BTO within four kilometers of your parents' home, you are eligible for a proximity grant. Real or not real? Okay. Within four kilometers? Mm. Real. Both same script. Well, first time same answer. Real. Okay. Actually, the answer is, there's no need explanation, right? Yeah. The answer is absolutely correct. Four kilometers, you get the proximity grant. Oh, it's from me, is it? Yes. Your question good. Okay, so now the score is 4-2. Is it 4-2? Yes, 4-2. 4-2. Uh. Yes, 4-2. Okay. okay, let's go on to our, our last, last question. One, our last question. Yeah. Uh. This one. Ah, this one, this one. Yeah, okay, okay, this one fun. <laughs> All right. After 2019, we must pay seller stamp duty if we sell after holding the property for five years. Real or not real? Yes. Say again, say again. After 2019, uh -huh. we must pay seller stamp duty if we sell after holding the property for five years. Real or not real? That after means basically seller stamp duty lah. So seller stamp duty. Saying, uh, they, are, they are saying after holding a property for five years, uh -huh. right? And when you sell, you need to pay seller stamp duty. Stamp duty. Yeah. Real or not real? Real. Okay. Now we have a Tosh's answer. Real. Okay. Maybe you can explain it yourselves. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I, I just think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, also, I think everything you no pay idea. tax. I just, right? like, yeah. Everything need to pay tax. Ah. Everything yeah. you pay tax. Ah. Yeah. That's yeah. how you see our government. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I, I love it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Keep us safe. All good. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay for the quality. You pay for the good stuff, right? You pay for the best government <laughs> in Singapore, man. Toshi, <laughs> Toshi, why real? Uh, well, I really don't know. Eh. Really don't know. I just wing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. It's not easy like this one. Okay, so seller's stamp duty means, right, when you sell your property, property. prematurely. Yes. Okay, yes. within a certain time period. Actually, yeah. it's three years, not five years. Not five years. You have to pay years. taxes. Yeah. So within the first year you sell a property, you have to pay 12% tax yes. on how much you sell it for. Mm. Second year, 8%. 8 and then lastly, 4%. 4%. It used to be four years, now yeah. it becomes three years. So mm. after three years, you sell a property, you don't need to pay tax. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's oh, right. Good one. Yeah. Wait, so you, you can sell after it? three years. <laughs> yeah. So when you say you're going to pay tax? After yeah. three years. After three years. Oh. After three years. Yes. When you buy it, you prevent people from flipping. Lah. You know, oh. I buy the condo today. One day. Tomorrow one, I sell. Yes. Yeah. But mm. commercial properties, you can flip within one day. Yes. Yeah. yeah mm. That's Only why some people, they go to commercial. I see. Okay, so we have the crown winner. And, and he is none other than... The winner is... Top. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Boasting rights. Yeah, boasting rights. And not yeah. only that, I think both have the same logic when it comes to analyzing properties. It's yeah. just that mm. there are some minute details that only like, you know, we all everyday see deals that we all get to know. Right, right, and sometimes we don't forget. Yeah. So we have to remind ourselves correct, also. Correct, so correct. good job to both our guests. Well done. And dude. thank you for being thank on Thank you so much for show. coming, man. Thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. Thank just, you. So thank just out of curiosity, right, mm. we always ask the guests this question, mm. right? Out of one to five, how important do you think is important? Uh, how important? <laughs> how important do you think knowing real estate investments is? Like maybe these type of questions that you have. How important? I think it's five. Great. Yeah. If yeah. it's five, five for sure. Five? I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. least the first one uh, is five for sure. Yeah. We want to choose <laughs> right, right. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Good to know lah. Especially oh, like yeah. 
I think our current generation, uh, I think it's better to know earlier than later. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I wish I know a lot more things right before I bought my first home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. I really wish. Yeah. Where you can buy an owner, essential occupier, exactly. instead of two owners, right? Correct. Then you yeah. can buy under your wife's name a property without yes. Yes. Well. yes. Yes. It's yes. the yes. knowledge, right? Yeah. yeah. Because like when you want to put money into something, be it for to stay or what, that's mm, yeah. like you're putting your heart and money into it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It's important to really understand what you're doing. Yeah. 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 That's right. Great. So thank you so much for watching this episode mm -hmm. of Let's Get Real. Jiang yep. And we just want to thank our guests once again for being such good sports on the Ooh. show. Thank you. Yeah. And we hope that you guys have enjoyed this, this episode. episode. So we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.